Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The virtues of the day of Arafah and Sunnah of slaughtering a sacrificial animal. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, There is no blame upon you to seek some bounty from your Lord. When you surge down from Arafat, remember Allah at the sacred place. Remember him. He has guided you before that you were astray. Then search down where the rest of the people do and ask forgiveness of Allah, his most forgiving and merciful. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow the path to the day of judgment. The first ten days of Dhul Hijjah are full of divine rewards and blessings and virtuous days. However, the greatest of these days is the day of, Araf of Arafah, on which Allah the Almighty has completed His blessings and perfected the religion to this nation. The Almighty Allah said, Today I have perfected your religion for you, completed my blessing upon you, and chosen as your religion Islam. The day of Arafah is the witness day and the greatest day of pilgrimage regarding which Allah the Almighty said by the promised day, by the witness and that which is witnessed. The Prophet peace be upon him said the promised day is the day of resurrection. The day which is witnessed is the day of Arafah and the witness is Friday. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said the pilgrimage is Arafah. The gathering of people on the day of Arafah reminds us of a greater scene, namely the gathering of the people on the day of judgment before the Almighty Allah, the day when no soul will be able to do anything for another. On that day, command will belong to Allah. In addition, the day of Arafah, is the season of remembrance of the name of Allah and a time for answering supplications. As our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the best invocation is that of the day of Arafat, and the best of what I and prophets before me have said is La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. There is no God but Allah alone without a partner. His, he, his is the dominion and his is the praise and he is able to do all things. It is the day of forgiveness of sins and emancipation from the hellfire. The Prophet peace be upon him said, when it is the day of Arafah, Allah praises them, the pilgrims, to the angels saying, look at my servants who have come to me disheveled, dusty, and standing in the sun, coming from every deep valley. I call you to witness that I have forgiven them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, there is no day when Allah sets free more servants from hell fire than the day of Arafah. It is out of the great generosity and favor of Allah on the day of Arafah that he never deprives anyone from the blessings of that day. As he, the Almighty, grants his mercy and forgiveness to the pilgrims in his sacred house, he also follows his uh, gates of mercy for all the creatures. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I seek from Allah that fasting on the day of Arafah may forgive the sins of the year after and the year before it. It is strongly recommended on the day of Arafah to adhere to good morals and keep away from vices. As our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, this is a day on which if a person controls his ears, eyes, and tongue from evils will get his sins forgiven. Indeed, what is the value of worship if one's morals are lacking? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, There are people who fast and get nothing from their fast except hunger, and there are th those who pray and get nothing from their prayer but a sleepless night. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. One of the most important acts of worship 
that is emphatically recommended during the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah is to seek the reward from Allah, glory be to Him, by slaughtering a sacrificial animal in commemoration of the incident of the Prophet Abraham and his son Ismail, peace be upon them. Allah said, pray to your Lord and make your sacrifice to Him. Allah also said, it is neither their meat nor their blood that reaches Allah, but your piety. He has subjected them to you in this way, so that you may glorify Allah for having guided you. Give good news to those who do good. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, A human does no action from the actions on the day of Nahr more beloved to Allah than spilling blood of sacrificial animals. On the Day of Judgment, it will appear with its horns and hair and hooves, and indeed the blood will, ex will be accepted by Allah from where it is received before it even falls upon earth. So let your heart delight in it. Sacrifice has a noble social purpose through pleasing one's family, relatives, the poor and the needy which achieves the solidarity and compassion promoted by our pure religion. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, reported messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, had slaughtered the sheep and distributed major portions of its meat. Then he, peace be upon him, asked, Is there anything left? She replied, Nothing except the shoulder. Thereupon he said, all of it is left except its shoulder. In addition, we have to make the ritual of sacrifice a manifestation of the greatness of Islam and an aspect of its cleanliness and civilization. There is no doubt that sacrificial instruments achieve those noble goals by distributing sacrifices to their eligible beneficiaries wherever they are, preserving the environment and benefiting from every part of the sacrifice without waste or loss. O Lord, accept our good deeds and guide us to all that you love and is pleased with.